Up and over from Andrea Fletcher. No will go into the boundary. Kimani Milias beg your pardon. Positivity from the young man. Big shot for MW. He's given him. On the back foot. Andrew Fletcher. Not a difficult decision you would think for the umpire. Pulling to two right handers as well. Will help. But confidence uh, from Sunil Ambrus. Drill away through the offside. Goes all the way for four. So a good start you know, for Captain Ambrus. Driven, driven, drilled down the ground from Sunil Ambrose. Over pitching Ravi Rampal, but Ambrose confident from that first innings now. Down to fine leg, will get to the boundary. So just a little bit too straight there from Ravi Rampal, erring in line and being punished. Clicked away through the one side once again from Sunil Ambrose. And will go all the way. So two boundaries in the over. Chopped away nicely. Short and wide. It's a big boundary. Might just trickle in. It does trickle in. A laboured chase by Sun and Lorraine. Beautiful shot. Captain Sunny Lambris. Full and wide from Philip. Slapped away from the extra cover for four. Played on. Well, eventually he gets his man, Anderson Phillip. He just has a knack for taking wickets. Second wicket down. Gone. Wicket number three, the second one for Anderson Phillip. Went straight into the hands of Jason Mohammed. Stout will be surely disappointed. Try to take the initiative away from the West Force. Good shot. Good shot. That was a pleasant, well executed shot. Timing was superb. Use of the feet. He was nowhere close to that one. There was premeditation. And he's virtually gifted another wicket to the Red Force. A wicket for Jason Mohammed. The part-timer. The success again for the Trinidad and Tobago Red Force. Ah, brilliant. Ah, that's very clever. Very deliberate. Excellent execution. Paul, I gave him a bit of pace on that time. and gave him a bit of width and he was good enough. Swept away for four. Very good intention shown by the captain of the Volcanoes, Ambris. Moves on to 44 now. Sweetly driven. Should go into the boundary line and he will celebrate his half century. Consistency with the bat from the captain. Again, had the presence of mind to know that the pace is not very fast from Jason Mohammed and the length was short. Great shot. Really, really top quality shot. Ah, that's brilliant. It's probably shot of the day. It wasn't a half volley at all. Well, that's close. Yeah, very close. Very, very close, in fact. Gone. And that man, Philip, again. Getting his third wicket. He has bowled well throughout this spell. Down the leg side, he's gone. You can say he's been strangled by Jason Mohammed. John, thinking of tickling it, would have been a wide. I guess when he looks back at the replay, he won't be a happy chapter for this one. Take her, oh my God. What brilliance we've seen from Karen Pollard. It was struck firmly and he juggled it a couple times before holding on. Edward can't believe it. Let's assess how he goes now.
is an important part of the game for him that's four runs. In there, will it be taken? And settles under it. Completes the catch quite easily in the end. Another wicket for Jason Mohammed. He's been really good throughout this innings, Mohammed. Katoyon, 47. Will that be his first list day half century? Will it get to the boundary? It does. So, an excellent bit of rear guard action here from the Volcanoes batsman, Karen Katoy. He brings up his first list day half century. Moment into his final over. Smashed over wide of long off. Too much air, too much width, and too easy for Karen Katoy. We have seen throughout this innings that he favors the offside. Pull away. Protection in the deep. Can't get there. A boundary. A welcome boundary here for the Volcanoes. Karen Katoy. Seven boundaries. Moves to 71. What is that? Oh, he's caught behind. Katoy not looking too happy here, Samuel Badri. He tried a scoop shot. Not looking happy at all, but a dreaded finger was raised and he's gone caught behind by Dinesh Ramdin. No, 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 no. Chance for Ronald. Direct hit needed. Yes. Might have just gotten back in. And they'll want to go and check. Not out, I'll say. Confirmation coming up here. Yes, brilliant. Yeah, out. I can understand that. And that brings to an end the Windward Islands Volcanoes innings in the end a direct hit from Ravi Rampal did the trick <laughs> and he's enjoying that now Ravi Rampal I thought that the batsman would have gotten back in but for that unfortunate position of the bat raising past the crease pulled away in the gap Gets to the boundary. Evan Lewis, his first boundary of the chase. A loose delivery and duly punished. Punch through the offside. As we've grown a custom scene from Lendl Simmons. Crisply timed. And just going to the boundary. Evan Lewis. So easy on the eyes. Love to drive. One bounce into the boundary line. Typical Evan Lewis shot. Imposing himself. Sweetly timed. And he gets four. Average. Superb. That's against the wind. And it will still go into the boundary for four. Races away for four. Consecutive boundaries here for Lendl Simmons. No sixes so far in this match. Edged and gone. Ambrose takes the catch in the end, but it came off the gloves of the wicket keeper. Well, ball for Kenneth Demba, his first wicket in list day cricket. And what a wicket it was. There it goes. That's a huge hit. Lendy Simmons. And you could hear that big bang on top of the pavilion where we are sitting. That was a serious hit. Walked over deep in wicket, deep back on square, almost towards that swimming pool area it brings up the 50 you know, for Lindell Simmons 52 from 60 deliveries two sixes now you know, from Lindell Simmons and again he goes with the wind and away she goes over the scoreboard a magnificent blow from Lindell Simmons towards the airport road so consecutive sixes now you know, from the Trent Big opening batsman really underscore their dominance swept away and goes away to the boundary 
to Lindell Simmons in menacing mood at the moment. And again, over long on. Another six for Lindell Simmons. The fourth six of the innings so far. Well, short, dragged away, tugged away to the leg side. There's not much protection. Bounce into the ropes. There's a poor ball. Not what it deserved. Yeah, it's good. Hooked away. It's a short boundary. Not a bad ball, but it's been smacked 40 yards over the rope for another six. Lendl Simmons fifth. Offside. Full toss. Ah, it's good timing. It's good placement for Lendl Simmons. He could have hit anywhere. Classical cover drive through the extra beautiful, beautiful four. That's a century. His sixth list there, Sentry, Lendl Simmons. Bringing it up with an easy single. It's been a brilliant innings uh, by the right-hander. Missed out in the first game. Here he is now, celebrating three figures. Taken. Some brilliance in the field. Larry Edward diving away to his right. Very, very unfortunate by young Nicholas Puran. Fine leg in the circle. Oh, 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 oh. doing the right things. He was searching for the single, didn't get the response from Mohammed. And he'll lose his wicket. What disappointment for him and for the Red Force. Yeah, Simmons gone. Not so sure that was a single. Nice to get down low and sweep, sweep hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, no. Again. Nice oh, wonderful feel there. I think he's safe, but it's a great bit of work. Might get a buzzer here. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I think he's struggling. Brilliant work. Absolutely marvellous work. Better on the circuit for quite some time. Is he taken? Yes, he's taken. Another wicket for Larry Edward. And isn't he enjoying that? And that man again, Roland Cato, is it? On the field as a substitute for Andre Fletcher. Drill to the offside. Loose delivery from Larry Edward. And Darren Bravo wouldn't miss out on that occasion. Just like that. The power of the man mistimes it. Still goes all the way. Such a strong and powerful. And again, this time much further. Much more in control. Brings up the 200. And the four to Trent the big or Red Force. Consecutive sixes of the ball of Larry Edward. Well, he's going in typical Pollard's fashion. That's his uh, third six of his innings. And it's a big one straight down the ground. Sweetly timed. Power on that one. The execution was uh, brilliant by Pollard. Taken this time. You have exploited a weak area in Karen Pollard. And then he celebrates Larry Edward. He's kept his composure. Yes. And that's the winning run. The Red Force. They've gone about today in a business-like manner, and they pick up a four-wicket win in their second match of this tournament. Yes, that's a big win, two from two.